Hey YouTube, it's Cecilia Lane here. Um, wow, it's been a really long time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I think the last time that I... <coughs> sorry, I've been sick. The last time that I came on here was um, my third month. And I think I'm going on like five, six months now. Um, and life is very, 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 very very different. Um, I'm so happy that I got my surgery. Um, I am enjoying life so much. Um, let's see. So, uh, first I'll talk about things that I can eat. So, I can eat pretty much everything except for ice cream and like candy and stuff. Sweets make me very, very sick and uh, generally tend to result in me vomiting. So I avoid them, especially ice cream at all costs. Um, <coughs> uh, ice cream used to be my favorite food and oops, a little security alert popped up real fast. Um, ice cream used to be one of my favorite foods and now I detest it. The combination of fats, carbs, and sugars, um, such a high level of those things, make me so unbelievably sick to my stomach um, that I just don't eat it anymore. So um, my new thing now are sugar-free popsicles. That's what I love to have, sugar-free popsicles. Um, everything else I'm able to eat, all meats and everything, um, I can eat about, portion for me now is about a half of a lean cuisine is about as much as I can put in at one time. <clears throat> um, and other than the ice cream sweet thing, I mean, and this would be my advice to anybody considering the surgery, getting any kind of um, weight loss surgery, <coughs> who you are does not change. I am still the exact same person. Uh, I'm still sporadic with my exercise uh, for month, two months, all go, 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 and I'm exercise queen, and I've got all the gusto, and then pff, nothing, <laughs> nothing for the next two, three, four months, and then I'll get the bug again, and I'll go, 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 and I've always been that way, and I am still that way. Um, I still like... Uh, you know, junky foods. <laughs> um, that hasn't changed. I mean, other than like the ice cream because it makes me sick. But, you know, I still like things like corn dogs. I still like french fries. Um, I don't really like fast food hamburgers. I wasn't that crazy about them in the beginning. Although sometimes, you know, I'd get a gander for one. Um, hamburgers in general, I'm not all that crazy about them. It's just so heavy on my stomach. <clears throat> um, but I still like french fries. I still love salads. I love salads before. I love them now. Um, so essentially you are the same person and you're still going to have a lot of the same habits. What happened to me with the surgery is that it changed my portion size so no longer was somebody telling me that I should only eat this certain amount and then I was trying to mimic or mirror that advice but now I have no choice I can't eat um, anything more than this certain portion size so um, and so my mind ha has really changed in how I view a portion or an amount of food so when I put something on my plate I mean I'm putting like you know like this a serving to me is like, you know, something like that on my plate. Um, and everybody else thinks I'm crazy. Um, lunch for me, you know, people normally make a whole sandwich. I make a half of a sandwich and I don't eat any accoutrements with it. <clears throat> um, I can't drink while I eat or after I eat. It's very uncomfortable. It's like taking something, putting a bunch of food there, and then you're going to stick water on top of it and it'll like slowly seep down in between the crack. Oh, it's very uncomfortable. I do not like it. I don't do it. Um, and 
Um, of course, I worry about things like, you know, pushing the food down too soon before it's gotten a chance to digest some in my itty bitty new stomach. Uh, and then making myself uncomfortable, you know, in the, um, in the other departments. So, uh, so I guess I do have dumping because dumping for me is whenever I eat sweets, sugar, ice cream, highly concentrated, um, sugary and high fat, high carb foods, um, I get very sick and I usually end up throwing up. So I do have dumping even though I did not get um, anything changed about my intestines. I only had my stomach done. I had the gastric sleeve. So, but the surgery affects everybody differently in that sense. <coughs> um, I do not ever drink soda anymore. I have a fear of soda. Just the thought of the bubbles terrifies me. Uh, so I never drink soda, but I was never a big soda drinker in the beginning. So that was kind of something easy to give up. Ooh, lifesaver for me. Okay. Uh, I've been, you know, getting my checkups to find out my vitamin levels and um, nutrient levels and things like that. And I am at awesome levels and my doctor could not understand it because I don't take that B12 sublingual thing. I don't take the carb, not carb, but the um, surgery stuff, special vitamins. <clears throat> I don't do any of that stuff. The only thing that's low on me is vitamin D. And because, um, God send, ooh, I take two children's Flintstones chewable vitamins with iron. It's uh, the chewable with iron formula. I take, I take two of those a day uh, and they're very easy obviously to eat and even if I have a mildly empty stomach it doesn't upset my stomach. And I drink at least two Sobe waters every day which have the B complex. They have B12 plus B3, B5, B1, I don't know, a whole bunch of Bs. Um, and I drink two of those every day um, and now I just started taking vitamin D capsules also every day. Um, and those, sorry, my back is killing me. And I attribute my great nutrient health <laughs> to those things. Um, so you don't have to run out and buy all this expensive, crazy stuff. Um, and then again, you know, of course I'm going to say everybody's different. You know, for some people they may need uh, more than that. But for me, this has worked really well, <clears throat> um, and it's a really great combination of things to take. It, it's none of it tastes icky, and I don't have to go through a big ordeal, and it all goes down easy. So, um, so advice on that: Sobe water, children's Flintstones, children's chewable with iron vitamins, and um, vitamin D. And I would I would suggest getting the vitamin D from your uh, primary care provider from wherever you get your surgery or do your checkups they usually have a stronger um, amount a stronger level of vitamin D than you could find in the store um, and women especially need vitamin D sorry I'm all itchy I just got out of shower and I'm all itchy and whatnot anyway so what else um, so take your vitamins so I've been doing really well on that uh, like I said, exercise, that's so good. <laughs> um, I was real gung-ho for a minute there, and now I'm in one of my non-gung-ho times. Um, <clears throat> but that's okay. Uh, I know that when I'm ready, um, I'll do it again. Um, what am I loving? Oh, so... Wow, I hate it when people do this, and here I've done this. Okay, so I started out at 254, um, and this morning I weighed 178, and I wear a size 10 and 12. Yes, it's pretty exciting, um, and I look and feel really, really great. Uh, hair loss, I, yes, I do have hair loss. I have a lot of hair that comes out like everybody else. <coughs> However, God gifted me with an unbelievable amount of hair because I am Italian, Irish, Black, and American Indian. So I have more hair um, than any woman would ever wish upon themselves. 
Um, and as a result, uh, if anything, the hair loss has just made my hair a little more manageable because um, normally it's it's unbelievable, yeah. And I just washed it, and it's it's already pretty big, considering that it's wet. <laughs> um, so that has not bothered me at all, and uh, I can't really empathize with anybody else on that because I've always had such thick hair, so it, it hasn't had any effect on me, other than, you know, it's irritating to every time you take a shower and you brush your hair out, um, that you have all this hair that comes out. Luckily, I have curly hair, and I've been kind of um, embracing my own natural look, my curly hair, and so I don't brush my hair very often. I only brush it when I wash it, um, which is like every three days. So I don't really deal with the hair loss very often except when I, you know, wash my hair, so, um, <clears throat> skin, loose skin and scars, so I guess I'll show you my scars right quick, uh, they are pretty much nothing, let's see if I can see, I am, um, I don't know, if I actually see, but, so I have one right here, one right here, and then I have one on my belly button, and that's it. Uh, as far as loose skin, um, I don't really have any. Um, well, no, I do. I, ha I just happen to have very elastic skin. So um, there's my pooch. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Looks pretty good. Um, and my legs look good. My arms look amazingly good. Um, I've been very surprised about that because I thought they were going to be really bad because I have humongous, humongous arms. Like, I can't even tell you how naturally humongous my arms are. So, for them to be as small as they are now are amazing to me. So, I had expected that my arm was going to be, like, unbelievable. And um, it's definitely bad, but, I mean, it should have been so much worse because I'm a fatty arm person. Do you see that? That is, um, my arm was like twice this size. And that's the only time you noticed how bad it is, is if I go up like that. And nobody goes walking around like this. Like, I don't raise my arms like that. <laughs> If I'm out partying, I'll be like, yay, see, and then it all goes nice and smooth, and you can't see, <laughs> yay, fist pump, fist pump, just don't bring it down too low, right, when you do the fist pump, just keep it up there, <laughs> fist pump, fist pump, and you'll be good to go, um, and then, of course, you know, from the sides, it's not bad, let me do the thing, oops, sides, it's not bad, I try to not be pressing my arm, <laughs> I'm against me like that, so I try and keep it like that. Um, as you see, everything's kind of smoothed out very nicely. Um, and uh, I look good. I look good. I feel good. Um, like I said, I wear size 10 and 12s. Um, <clears throat> and we're size 10 and 12s and mediums and um, uh, I look good in, in everything I put on now. It's really nice. And I have all these cute dresses and I have a lot of really cute dresses that I wear for work uh, that I love rocking and I always get all these great compliments on. Um, and man, I take better care of myself. Uh, wow, 14 minutes. I say you can load more. Now, I wonder if it's going to cut me off at 15. I guess we'll see. Um, so, uh, I guess I will wrap, try and wrap this up, though. <clears throat> 14 minutes is a long time. So, I, I can wear all these cute clothes. I look good in my clothes. I can wear, um, heels now. <laughs> and, uh, they don't. My feet are still getting used to them, yes, um, but because I don't have so much weight, uh, they don't hurt my feet and I can wear them all day comfortably. 
Um, and so I wear heels 